guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I wanted to do a video just explaining to you what I'm going to be doing for the Reading My Shelves project 2018. This is a project that I've come up with to kind of get down my physical TBR in 2018. What I really want to do is try and get rid of, not get rid of, but try and read a lot of the books off of my physical TBR. Um, and there are a couple of reasons for this. One being that I really want to go to the library a lot more often. I really do enjoy going to the library and really want to support my library a lot more than I do. But I feel like I can't really go, well I can, but I feel bad about going when I've got so many books to read at home that I've bought um, and that I really should read first. So, and the other reason is I do have an awful lot of books on my physical TBR. So at the moment, um, at last count, looking at Goodreads, I have 298 books on my physical TBR. I don't put my Kindle books on my um, Goodreads TBR um, just because there are quite a few of those and I think I'd be a little bit overwhelmed. So um, yeah, I really should read actually some of the books that I um, have at home that I have already bought. So I'm doing a Reading My Shelves project um, and basically I've come up with 12 categories that I'm going to read from every month during 2018. So I was having a think over the last few months about what those categories were going to be that would mean that I could pick from a diverse range of books on my shelf and not kind of hamper myself too much during any of the months. So I'm going to talk to you about what the 12 categories are. And this is my little sheet that I'm going to use. So I've got all of the months of the year down here. One of the categories is non-fiction and that's the only one that is... Um, fixed on here obviously because of non-fiction November um, so I thought I would just add that now but every other one I'm going to be adding to my um, list during the year and then that month I'll be reading from that category of books. So the first category that I have chosen is series I've started so um, this doesn't necessarily mean that I want to pick up and finish series during this particular month but it just means I have got an awful lot of um, unfinished series on my shelf and I did a video about that a couple of months ago which I'll link for you if you haven't watched that. So there are quite a few that I need to get to so um, I thought this would be the per perfect opportunity to kind of catch up on some of those books that I already own that I haven't yet continued on with this series for. Then I've got thrillers. I did think about putting this for the month of October. Then I thought really you can read thrillers any time of the year and it would be a good month to catch up on some of the ones that I own. So I own quite a few. I've accumulated lots over the last um, six months or so. So this would be the perfect opportunity to read some of those. Then I've got new to me authors, so I'm going to be reading authors obviously that I haven't read before and again I've got loads of those on my shelves and this will be the perfect opportunity for me to check out some new writers and see whether I like their writing style. Then I've got prize winners, so if you've been following my channel for a while you know that this year I read the Bailey shortlist and I read the uh, Man Booker shortlist and I really enjoyed doing that. So I know I've got some books on my shelves that have won various book prizes before and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to give some of those a go and see whether they would have been books that I enjoyed either that have won or that were in shortlists. I think they're supposed to have won, yeah, that won, um, and see whether I, you know, liked them and agree that they should have won a prize. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a book prize judge, so you know. But we'll see. Next up, I've got the category of YA. I've got quite a few YA books on my shelf, and I do enjoy reading young adult books. Sometimes if I read too many of them I get a bit kind of washed out by them shall I say but there are loads of really really good YA books out there um, and I've hauled quite a lot over the last year and just haven't got around to reading them so I think I think of Victoria Swab off the top of my head I can think of um, Orange Boy by Patrice Lawrence that I haven't read um, and lots of other ones too so this would be a really nice opportunity to knock some of those off of my TBR. 
Then I've got the category of booktube buzz and I thought this would be a good one to include just because it covers a range of different things. So I thought this one would be good because you hear about lots of pe lots of books that people love on booktube and I've acquired quite a few of those over the last year or so and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to pick up some of those books that people have recommended and actually get around to reading them. Then I've got month of letters and I thought this would be an interesting one depending on what month it is, if it's like May maybe not so interesting uh, but I could always double up on the letters um, so I thought what I would do is whatever month it was try and pick um, a book title that began with every letter from that month or maybe like an author, uh, we'll see how it goes with whatever month it is a lot of the months have you in them. What books start with you? I don't know. But I just thought, again, that would kind of diversify my reading during the year and be a good way to knock some kind of different books off of my shelf. Then I've got Around the World. So um, you guys know that one of my goals this year was to read a book from every continent apart from Europe. Um, and um, I really enjoyed doing that this year. So I wanted to continue that and I'll talk a little bit more about that in my um, goals for 2018 video, which will be coming up soon. But I thought I would spend a month trying to knock some of the books off of my TBR that come from different countries around the world. Again, to diversify my reading, get me kind of into writers that I haven't uh, read before um, and settings I've never read about and countries that I've never and cultures that I've never read about before. So um, yeah, looking forward to that one. Next up, I've got a fantasy. I feel like I don't read a lot of fantasy on this channel and my husband absolutely loves fantasy. It's practically all he reads. And I do have have quite a few fantasy books on my TBR some of which he's read and recommended and others of which have just sort of popped up on my TBR because I found them um, in various places across the year so I thought that would be a great month to actually get around to reading some of the things that he's recommended um, and that other people have recommended on booktube too. Then I've got reading the rainbow so I thought this would be quite a fun one to do I thought I would pick a book that has got a different colour spine from the from each of the colours of the rainbow for that month and that will make up my TBR. Again I can slot lots of different kind of things in there to mix it up a bit. Then I've got book to movie adaptations. I thought this would be quite a fun month to do in terms of I could read the book and then go and watch the film and when I review it I could review both for you. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to that one. I've got loads of book to movie adaptations on my shelf so uh, lots to pick from there. And then the last category is non-fiction, which I've already explained to you I've put um, in November because of non-fiction November. I've really enjoyed uh, reading more non-fiction this year and I loved participating in non-fiction November. So I'm definitely going to be doing that again next year um, and that is my last category. So what I have done is I've put each of the remaining 11 categories in this little jar here and what I'm going to be doing during my TBR videos is picking one of these and then picking my TBR based on that. So I'm really looking forward to picking out of this jar during the year and getting around to reading a lot of the books on my shelf that I haven't, that I haven't yet read um, this year. So I'm hoping not to do as many book hauls this year. I'm definitely not going to be doing monthly book hauls. Perhaps I will do them seasonally, so winter, spring, that sort of thing. But I really want to restrict myself. I'm, I haven't given myself, like, I know some people have done, like, read three books by one. Um, I think Jen the Librarian recently put up a video where she talked about that. Um, so, but I'm not going to be putting a number on it. I just want to say to myself that I just need to be reading the books on my shelf and I don't need to go out and buy a lot of them. So maybe I'll just concentrate on buying new releases or, you know, books that I really, 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 really want during that month. I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try my hardest um, to only do seasonal um, book hauls rather than monthly book hauls. Um, and the other thing that I'm going to be doing every month is depending on what category I pick out I'm going to be doing a recommendations video so if I pick out the reading my the rainbow category I'm going to be doing the reading the rainbow recommendations video just to give you guys some ideas of things that, that you can pick up during the month um, if you're interested.
I'm really excited about getting started with this in 2018. I will leave a link down below to all of the categories that I've talked about um, so that you can go and check those out. If you want to join in with me or anything like that, that would be really, really fantastic. If you've got any questions or comments, of course, leave them down below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.